Hello and welcome to Geek Mummy TV. I'm Ruth. And I'm John. <laughs> ah, almost as if we rehearsed it. <laughs> and today we've been asked by Brit Mums to talk a bit about how we feel about pushing kids onto a career in show business. Don't put your daughter on the stage, Mrs. Worthington. Don't put your daughter on the stage. I suppose the interesting thing is why focus on show business and why say would you encourage your child into show business? I don't think I would encourage my child into show business any more than I'd encourage them into accountancy. <laughs> or I think I might encourage them more into show business than accountancy. <laughs> Uh, but do you, do you know what I mean? I mean, I, I want to be a supportive parent, and if either of our children expresses an interest in any career, I would like to give them opportunities and support them without being too pushy. If Catherine became, let's say, as famous as, you know, a big Hollywood actor, like Tom Cruise or something, yeah. how would you feel about that? I can't imagine that. I don't know. I, I'd, I'd be, I'd be happy for her success. I'm not giving you the answer you want, am I? No. What's the answer you want? Tell me what you want me to say. I don't know. How would you feel if? Catherine Delighted. Was... Delighted. Oh, good. <laughs> How about if they desperately, desperately wanted to be successful and weren't succeeding at it? How would we feel about it then? I think you'd... You'd try and be supportive and maybe try and be realistic and perhaps say, you know, what, what's your backup plan? <laughs> no way any daughter of mine is ever going on the stage. No haircuts, no piercings, no tattoos. No trousers, no boyfriends, no acting. In theory, I would like our children to be able to make their own mistakes and still have us to fall back on if there was a problem. In practice, whether I could stand back and let them make those mistakes, I don't know. So you're telling me that you would be Simon Cowell to her in, 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 dreams of success? No, I, no, I don't want to be Simon Cowell. <laughs> You wouldn't suit, the trousers wouldn't suit you. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. We wouldn't force our children to do anything. No. There was no way that we would, we would encourage our child into something they didn't want to do. No. Uh, when I was little, um, I wanted to be a vet. And I thought my mum handled this very well because she actually spoke to our local vet mm. and arranged for me to spend a few days watching what the vet did and I had a day out watching her check the health of horses at a horse show and I talked to her about being a vet and we'd covered all sorts of things and by the end of the day I realized that vets had to put animals down as well as making them better and at that point I thought okay I don't think I could do that and I think my mum was quite astute that's pretty clever. because she didn't say to me oh no that's a dreadful idea but she found a safe way of me seeing what it was actually like to realise that it perhaps wasn't the career for me. Mm. So what we need is whichever child of ours wants to become mildly famous, we just need to get him like an apprenticeship with Tom Cruise. Yeah. That'll be easy, easy. then. Yeah. Once more unto the breach, dear friends, once more, or close the wall up with our English dead. <laughs> How would you feel about Catherine being an actress? Great. Being on television? Great. Being famous. Great. Being famous for being famous. Great. No, not great. Taking all her clothes off on stage. That's a tricky one because <laughs> that's the first thing I ever saw you do. <laughs> <laughs> Little story. <laughs> Shortly after Ruth and I... What's the word? Start, Hook, hooked up. Uh, uh, no, became began, a couple. Began courting. Began courting at university. Um, uh, Ruth was a, a, a regular actress with her local drama group. Amateur. Amateur. Amateur drama group. And the very first show that I ever saw her in was... Um, pardon me, Prime Minister. Pardon me, Prime Minister, which is a, a sex farce. Yep. Put it, to put it the right way. And uh, Ruth was the tasty bit of stuff. 
and still okay. is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but the very first show I ever saw her in, she had to not actually appear uh, topless, but pretend to be topless with a, two copies of Hansard over her chest on stage. That's the one, yep. So, um, I, I got a little fan club. You still, that. you still got one. No. <laughs> so there we go. But I, I had a rather um, interesting first meeting with my future in-laws mm. because the first time I came up to visit you and your family, I got sort of frog marched through the house to the garden where your mother was sitting at the table like the matriarch. And she said, Ruth, come over here, sit down and tell me all about this play you're in when you t where you take all your clothes off. Awesome. Welcome to the Arnold family. Yes. No haircuts, no trousers, no tattoos, no piercings, no boyfriends. I've got out of order. I'll come in again. <laughs> I'll come in again. <laughs> Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Our chief weapon is fear. Our chief weapon is fear. Fear and surprise. Surprise and fear. Our, Our two, two chief, chief weapons. weapons. <laughs>